with Hanuman Asana. Hanuman is full splits pose and uh, we're going to approach it gradually. I invite you to have nearby two blocks, a strap which we're going to start with and a blanket. If you don't have a blanket, you just find a towel, it's going to work just fine. So from here on, enjoy. So for today's practice, we're going to start laying on our back with the strap at hands distance. Slowly start to unroll your spine, one vertebra at a time, coming to lay all the way down onto your back. From here, bring the strap close to you and hug the right knee into your chest. You're going to bring the strap around the ball of your right foot and extend the right leg up to the ceiling to 90 degrees, keeping both feet flexed. Pressing your elbows down towards the mat and pressing the ball of your right foot up towards the ceiling. The legs are fully engaged. What we're doing here in Supta Pada Bustasana, reclined hand to big toe pose, is we're lengthening the back muscles of your thighs, so the hamstring muscles. Take another inhale here and as you exhale you're going to draw the strap into your right palm, keeping the left palm onto your left thigh. Externally rotate the right leg and very gradually open the leg out to the side. Trying to keep your left sit bone grounded. You might want to rotate your neck to the opposite side. Continue to press with the right ball of the foot towards the right side of your room. Take one more full round of breath here. Inhale. As you exhale, engage your core and bring the leg back to 90 degrees. And reach for the strap with both palms, ground your elbows, once again lengthen the right leg towards the ceiling, take another full round of breath here, inhale, and exhale fully. Remove the strap from the right leg, keep the strap handy, and slowly release the right leg next to the left onto the mat. You might notice that the right leg now is longer than the left because we've lengthened the muscles on the right side of the leg. Bend the left knee to your chest now and squeeze it towards your left shoulder. Reach for the strap and once again you're going to bring the strap to the ball of the left foot and extend the left leg up to the ceiling. From here press into opposite directions. The elbows press down towards the ground. The left ball of the foot presses up towards the ceiling. And try to keep the legs fully engaged, the feet are flexed. Press the ball of the left foot against the strap. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed. I have to remind myself sometimes too, so that's why I <laughs> say it continuously. And then reach for the strap with the left hand. Right hand is on your right thigh. Externally rotate the left leg and very delicately start to release the leg out to the side. Try to keep your right sit bone grounded. And the wall stopped my leg, but it's uh, not a matter of ego as much as it's a matter of lengthening the muscles in the back of the, all of the leg. So we're also working on external rotation here. Breathe deeply. One more inhale. And as you exhale, bring the leg back to 90 degrees. Continue pressing the ball of the left foot up towards the ceiling. Press the elbows down towards the ground. Inhale here. Exhale, remove the strap. You can set the strap aside. We won't need it for a while and lengthen the left leg down parallel to the right. Stretch the arms and legs in opposite directions. Find length. And exhale, hug the knees into your chest. Okay, rock and roll. Forward and back a couple of times. And you're going to find with a little momentum coming straight up to standing. Inhale. Ardha Uttanasana, so lengthen your spine forward, exhale, bow deeply, Uttanasana, and feel the length on the back of your thighs. This is what we're going to focus with today's class. Again, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen the spine halfway forward, exhale, bow deeply. One more, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, bow. Inhale. Reverse swan dive up, palms touch, gaze up, and exhale, release. Okay, moving on, stepping into lunging sun salutations. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Urdhva Namaskara, find length, grow tall. Exhale, bring this length into your forward fold. 
deep flexion, Uttanasana, bow. Inhale, lengthen, gaze forward. Exhale, set your right foot back and release the right knee to the mat. For this first round, please bring your blocks with you. And we're going to bring the blocks on the highest height. And we're going to move forward and back. Ardha Hanumanasana, bring your right hip onto your right knee. As you extend the left leg, walk your blocks underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward. And you might feel the left hamstring talking to you because it's what we're doing. We're lengthening the back of the left thigh. Inhale, bring your blocks forward and lunge deeper. Gaze forward, shoulders back. Exhale, walk your blocks back. Moving back into half splits or runner's lunge. Ardha Hanumanasana and bow forward. Again, re-lunge your left knee deeply. Palms onto the blocks. Gaze forward, shoulders back. And as you exhale, release the blocks to the side and step into plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale fully, exhale deeply. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step the right foot in between your palms, release the left knee to the ground. Reach for the blocks and elevate your spine. And then we're gonna move into runner's lunge. So from here, shift your hips back as you extend your right leg, moving your hip right onto the left knee. Palms are onto the blocks. Square your hips to the front, inhale, exhale, bow. Runner's lunge, half splits pose. Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, re-lunge your right knee. Palms onto the blocks, gaze forward, shoulders back. Exhale, extend the right leg, flex the right foot. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow deeply. And on the next inhale, rise. Ground the right foot, release the blocks to the side. Frame your right foot with your palms and step the left foot forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway forward. Exhale, bow deeply. Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Gaze up, palms touch, and hands in prayer. Shall we go for a second round with no blocks? Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, dive deeply forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Ardha Uttanasana, shoulders back. Exhale, set the right foot back, release the right knee to the ground. Inhale, shift your hips back and move into runner's lunge. Exhale, bow over the straight left leg. Inhale, re-bend the left knee. This time, bring your arms up, full Anjaneyasana, gaze up. Exhale, release the palms and step into plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg rises, inhale, big step forward, right foot in between your palms, release the left knee to the ground. Shift your hips back, walk your palms under your shoulders, flex your right foot as you inhale into runner's lunge, exhale, fold forward and bow. Inhale, lengthen, gaze forward, exhale, bow deeply. Inhale, re-bend the right knee, sweep your arms forward and up, gaze up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, release the palms to frame the right foot, step forward and bow deeply. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive up, palms touch, exhale, hands in prayer. Left side, inhale, exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, gaze forward. Exhale, step the left foot back. Release the left foot to the ground. Extend the right leg, shift your hips back. Inhale, exhale, bow forward into Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, re-ground the right foot and lunge. Sweep your arms up, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, frame the right foot and step into plank. Inhale, plank, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, set the left foot in between your palms, release the right knee. Once again, straighten the left leg, 
flex the left foot, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, bow, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, lengthen, and flex the left knee, gaze forward, shoulders back, extend the arms up, 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 palms touch, exhale, release, step forward with the right foot, and bow deeply. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, rebound. Inhale, sweep your arms up, gaze up, palms touch, exhale, hands in prayer. Okay, moving into Surya Namaskara A, we're gonna modify. Inhale, sweep your arms up, Urdhva Namaskara, exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, gaze forward, find length, exhale, ground your palms, step back, or jump into Chaturanga Vandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step the right foot in between your palms and step your left foot forward. Rotate the back foot, aligning heel to heel and gaze forward. Once again, you might need your blocks underneath your palms to inhale, find length for pyramid pose, Parjvottanasana. Square your hips to the front and exhale, bow over the right leg. Relax your shoulders. Once again, inhale, find length. Spine parallel to the ground. Exhale, bow deeply. Last one, inhale, lengthen. And re-bend the right knee. Walk the left foot back and step into plank. Chaturanga lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a full round of breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step the left foot in between your palms. Rotate and ground the right foot, aligning heel to heel and straighten the left leg as you gaze forward. Bring the palms onto the blocks if needed. Choose the right height for you, what serves you best today. Square your hips to the front. Inhale, gaze forward. And exhale, bow over the straight left leg. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Again, inhale, find length. Try to lift your belly button in and up towards the spine. And exhale, bow deeper. From here, as you inhale, rise. Rebend the left knee, lift the right heel, move the blocks out to the side and step into plank. Slowly lower Chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. Take three deep rounds of breath here, inhale, exhale lengthen. Inhale, separate the scapula away from each other and exhale, press the heels heavy into the mat. One more full round, inhale. Come onto the balls of the feet, gaze forward, exhale, step or float forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms touch, gaze up. Exhale, hands in prayer. Moving into Surya Namaskara B, modified. So from here, as you exhale, bend the knees. Fingertips graze the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms up, gaze up, chair pose. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, ground your palms, step or float, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, set the right foot in between your palms. Ground the left foot for warrior one. Inhale, sweep your arms up, palms touch. And from here, inhale, extend the right leg, gaze up. Exhale, lunge a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, this time bow. You might need or don't need the blocks. If you don't need them, palms are right underneath the shoulders, align heel to heel. Inhale, square your hips to the front. Exhale, rebound, lower your straight right leg. You might want to walk your palms forward this time. Moving 
a little bit deeper into the pose. One more full round of breath. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, re-bend your right knee. Sweep your arms up for Vira Badrasana. One warrior. One inhale. Exhale, release the palms to the mat. Step into plank, Chaturanga lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And from here, you're going to take a deep and full inhale. Exhale, all the air out. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step the left foot in between your palms. Rotate and round the back foot, align your heel to heel. Inhale, warrior one, sweep your arms forward and up. Gaze up. As you inhale, extend the left leg, lengthen. Exhale, rebound. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward. Aligning heel to heel. Inhale, lengthen forward. This time you might not need your blocks. And exhale, bow over the straight left leg for pyramid pose, Parvottanasana. You might want to walk your palms forward as you go a little bit deeper. And take another full round of breath here. Exhale deeply. Rebend the right, the left knee. And as you inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, release the palms to the ground. Step into plank. Chaturanga lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take three deep breaths in this down dog. Breathing deeply and evenly. Exhale, two. And one more. Inhale deeply. As you exhale, gaze forward. Step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow deeply. Bend your knees generously. As you inhale, sweep your arms forward and up, palms touch, and come to stand in Tadasana. Okay, from here we're going to separate the feet, hips distance, bring your hands to your waist, inhale, gaze up, exhale, bow forward, reaching with your two-piece fingers around your big toes. Inhale, lengthen forward, exhale, bow, and let your elbows open out to the side for Padam Mustasana, hand to big toe. Relax your neck. Breathe deeply here. With every exhalation, try to go a little bit deeper into the forward fold. And notice and feel the lengthening effect on your hamstring muscles. As you inhale, extend the spine forward. Exhale, Pada Hastasana. Slide your palms facing up underneath your feet. Inhale to find length. Exhale, bow deeply. Let your elbows bend. And shift your weight towards your wrists, towards your toes. And relax the neck, the shoulders. One more full round of breath. Inhale. Exhale deeply. Slowly, as you inhale, gaze forward. Slide your palms out from underneath your feet. Palms to waist, elbows point straight up. And as you inhale, come all the way up to stand. Okay, jump your feet together, hands in prayer. You're going to open wide to the side. From here, feet are parallel to each other. Bring your hands to your waist for Prasadita Padottanasana. Inhale, arch your back, gaze up. Exhale, lengthen forward, forward, forward. And relax the palms underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, bring the crown of the head towards the ground, keeping the elbows flexed and Try to keep the elbows pressing towards each other. So from here, you might feel the lengthening effect on the hamstring muscles as you breathe deeper into the pose. Take another full round of breath, inhale. And exhale deeply. As you inhale, walk your palms underneath your shoulders, gaze forward. And then reach for the palms with, for your waist. And with a strong core and straight spine, inhale, come all the way up. And toe heel your feet to hips distance. 
Once again, inhale, lengthen up, gaze up. Exhale, bow forward. Uttanasana, palms next to your feet. Walk your feet closer to each other and bow. On the next inhale, reverse swan dive up, palms touch. Exhale, hands in prayer. Okay, from here we're gonna move forward. So I invite you to fold the mat so that you have padding underneath your knees and bring the blanket out in front of you, keeping the blocks next to you. You're going to come to a kneeling position and bring your right foot onto the blanket. From here, bring the blocks with you in a way that they're handy. And a teacher which I love, Tara Judell, calls them the rectangles of hope. Never more than in this moment, you'll understand why. So from here, you're going to slide the right foot forward, extend the right leg, and bring the right leg back. Two more times, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale back. Okay, moving forward, you're going to press the heel onto the blanket and slide forward, lunge, lunge, lunge. When you can't lunge no more, bring the blocks onto the ground. Stay here, breathe deeply, or continue sliding your right heel forward and maybe moving your left knee back. You can try and go a little bit deeper. Stop whenever you feel like you've reached your edge and then exhale all the way down. And here is Hanumanasana, full splits pose. You can release the blocks to the side you can bring your hands in prayer at heart center, or you can extend the arms up towards the ceiling. Hands in prayer, inhale, exhale, bow forward over the straight right leg, and fold deeply into the pose. Breathe deeply here, inhale, and exhale. As you inhale, slowly make your way back up, and you might want the rectangles of hope with you now. <laughs> Press the palms into the blocks and slowly unwind. Just like we came into the pose, re-bend your right knee and come back to a kneeling position. <laughs> you might feel the work on the hamstrings of the right leg. Bring the left foot this time onto the blanket and we're gonna work forward and back a couple of times. So extend the leg forward and back. Extend the leg forward and back. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, back. From here, you're going to place the heel onto the blanket and slowly start to slide forward. Slide forward. And then you reach a point where you might need the blocks underneath your shoulders. From here, I recommend you walk the right knee back. Slide the left foot forward. Might be able to lower the blocks at this point and rewalk the right knee back, slide the left foot forward, and then maybe release fully into the pose. Set the blocks out to the side, square your hips to the front, engage the front foot, and inhale here. You might want to extend your arms up, inhale, hands in prayer, or exhale, bow devotionally, because this pose represents absolute devotion. As the beautiful story of Hanuman does in the Ramayana, and take a couple of deep breaths here. Inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, slowly start to come back up and here come and play the rectangles of hope. Press your right knee into the mat and slide your left foot back. Rebend the left knee and come back to kneeling. Oh, that did feel nice and come to a seating position. Okay, from here, you can set the blanket to the side. We won't need the blanket no more. This is a, keep this as a continuous work in progress. So the blanket is really going to be your best friend to work with Hanumanasana. And let's bring it into a pose which we've observed previously in the sequence, which is Pincha Mayurasana. So let's take the full split in Pincha Mayurasana. First round, we're gonna use the block. From here, ground your elbows underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulders, excuse me, squeeze your elbows towards 
each other, press forearms into the ground, walk forward, forward, lift one leg up, and we're going to move into full splits. Slowly release, coming into child's pose. Inhale, come all the way up. From here, you're going to take a wide stance with your legs in Upavishta Konasana. Separate your legs wide out to the side. And from here, you're going to inhale. Lengthen the spine, exhale, bow forward, and reach wherever you can reach. Rest your forehead onto the ground, keep your feet flexed, relax your neck, your shoulders. Slowly walk your palms back. And rotate your chest to the right. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, extend over the straight right leg. Inhale, exhale, bow. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Rotate to the left and bow over your straight left leg. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bring the right heel towards the inner left thigh, bring your right palm back behind you, inhale, variation of wild thing, Chalakkarasana, back bend here, inhale, exhale, bring your sit bones back to the ground, extend the right leg out to the right, bring the left heel towards your inner right thigh, left palm is behind you, inhale, sweep your right arm up and back, wild thing variation, inhale, exhale, re-lower. From here, you're going to bring the soles of the feet to the ground, keeping the knees bent, slowly unroll, one vertebra at a time. Coming all the way to lay back, one bridge pose, inhale, lift your sit bones, interlace the palms underneath your back, squeeze the knees towards center, take another round of breath, inhale, and exhale, slowly lower, one vertebra at a time. Hug the knees into your chest, Coming into Apanasana and rock and roll side to side, massaging your spine. From here, you're going to take Happy Baby to release fully. And you might find that after all this work we've done, you can bring Happy Baby further, maybe reaching for your heels and pressing the toes towards the ground. Relax your shoulders. You should find like you're fully open now. And the hip compartment, around the back of your thighs. Take another round of breath here, inhale. Extend the legs up to 90 degrees and slowly release everything down for Shavasana. For five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Let the feet fall open to the side. Close your eyes. Let go of Ujjayi breath. And let go completely. Let your weight fall and drop to the weight of gravity, holding and cradling, cradling you here into this pose. Stay as long as you wish to. I'm going to leave you here. And I invite you to Maybe take a seated meditation after the practice or stay in Shavasana for as much as you need to. Thank you for taking the time and courage to practice and thank you for stepping outside your comfort zone and working with full splits Hanumanasana.